Hey y'all, I'm EJ, you're you. It's spooky season! Pumpkin spice lattes are at Starbucks. Pumpkin donuts are at Dunkin' Donuts. I am starting to realize that I still don't have a Halloween costume picked out, which means it's time to look at some oaky, spooky custom designs for your island to get your island in the oaky, spooky spirit. We got paths, we got accents, we got standees, we got illusions. So let's get into it. Ooh. All right, first up, we are going to start with some spooky, spooky paths. So get ready to get your path on. Okay, okay, let's go. First up, we have this black cobblestone path. This is one of those nine piece patterns. And one of the great things about this pattern is the versatility. This creator has so many options for you to use from single piece wide pieces of padding with end caps for the sing each single piece to three versions of alternate corners. One with a convex kind of outward turn, one with a concave inward turn and a version with mossy corners. So if y'all want a versatile custom path that is gonna look ooky, that is gonna look spooky, and that is going to give you all the options in the world when it comes to what direction you wanna take your pathing, this is the path for you. But if you're maybe looking at this path and you're like, eh, it's all black, I don't know, it looks a little too dark, I have a good alternative for you. This is a gray cobble ooky spooky path. Now, this path is only the nine pieces, so it is a little bit less versatile than the last path that we were looking at, but it may makes up for it by being an extremely cool looking design. I mean, just look at this path. This is a unique path. This is something that I have honestly never seen in Animal Crossing before. Not to mention, if you love the Nightmare Before Christmas as much as I do, this creator has like so many Nightmare Before Christmas patterns that are not only incredibly well designed, but versatile and could be used outside of a Nightmare Before Christmas themed island. You got a ghost, you got a spider web, you got bats. I mean, what else do you want? But maybe you're like, hey, listen, I like the black path. I just feel like maybe cobblestone isn't the move for me. I got you covered then with this next path. This is a black dirt path. So this is very much like that classic nine piece dirt pattern. But instead of having normal brown dirt, it says ooky spooky black dirt. Ooh! This pattern really takes the best of both worlds in terms of the last two paths that we talked about, combining both versatility with a bunch of incredible accent pieces. Even if you already have found your path, you need to check out this creator just for the accent pieces alone, because like, let me tell you, this creator has a bunch of black brick path versions, as well as black brick like circle things that you can put as accents. The best part about this dirt path is that you can also hop on that diagonal path trend that has been going on. I was going to show a cute little like diagonal cemetery, but if I'm being honest, I do not have the design prowess. So I'm just gonna show you the, the, the husk of what I tried to do. It, if you want black pathing and black custom designs, this is for you. Now the first three patterns that I showed you all kind of lean into like kind of natural looking paths. These next couple paths are a little bit more goofy. They lead into the cartoony side of Halloween while still looking chef's kiss. First one is a great gray path for you. It has a bunch of cute accent corners that come with pumpkins, that come with sticks, that have little raspberries on them. It is a path that is full of little cute touches that are gonna look so good with the October grass, as well as with any of that spooky, spooky furniture. This path is really light on the custom design slots. It's only nine pieces, which means that it lacks versatility, but it is great if you are looking for just an accent path for a few areas, if you're only doing like one or two Halloween areas, this this is a really great path for you guys to use. Now, if you like the cartoony, you like the magic, but you want it to not be gray, check out this next path, which is an all black nine piece pattern that also comes with a bunch of cute cartoony accent pieces. There are pumpkins, there are bats, there are sparkles. It really feels magical. And this is like oozing the Halloween Town Disney Channel original movie vibes. I don't think we talk about Halloween Town enough. Like, I know that we do talk about it, but I don't think we talk about it nearly enough. 
anyways. This path also comes with a lot of great alternative middle pieces as well as single block wide paths. This comes with a lot more versatility than our last path, but granted this is going to take up more design slots if you want more versatility. This crater also has a bunch of really cool accent pieces. Some of my favorites include a Halloween cookie circle design as well as a mushroom fairy circle. And they have this really cool nine piece path that is like black with hydrangeas and skeletons on the side. And you do not want to miss their pro designs, they have so many cool outfits outfits and especially for the you Pokemon fans they have a bunch of like ghost and dark type Pokemon trainer outfits that are just so freaking cool and perfect for Halloween. Now all of these have been very spooky they've been very ooky but maybe you're just looking for a versatile fall path that will look great during the Halloween season but will transition into that November and for the harvest as well. I've got you covered there too. First up we have this incredible dirt and fall leaf pattern. It is the usual nine piece pattern there's a bunch of different options for the middle pieces so you can have some variation throughout the path. And it just looks super natural. It looks super cool. I really love the way that this creator has done the edges of this path because it makes it blend seamlessly in with the grass. It looks so good. Or if you wanna try the reverse pathing trend that we saw earlier in the summer, I would definitely recommend this fall leaf pattern that we have. Now this is a very simple nine piece pattern. There are no alternate middle slots, so it is very light on the custom design slots. But the great thing is that this creator has made three versions of this path basically for each month of fall. There's a September, an October, and a November version that is going to help you easily transition through all of those seasons. I picked the red leaf pattern just to show it off here because I thought it showed the most contrast, but trust and believe there are some other versions of this that work very seamlessly in. This wouldn't be my first choice for a main path, although if it's yours, go for it. But I think this would be really great to put around trees as like a reverse pattern. But maybe you have a path, maybe Maybe you already know what you are going to use. And now you're just looking for some cool accent pieces that you can put all around your island. These are some cool accent pieces, some simple panel designs, some illusions. Let's get into some of those designs that we've got for you. First, we have this incredibly witchy and also aesthetic Halloween quilt. This is actually from the same creator that designed the very first path that we looked at today, that black cobblestone path. They have so many great designs in their account. It was really hard for me to just pick one or two to feature. They have some incredible shelf designs. They have some incredible window designs. So if you are looking for like a really aesthetic, gothic, dark black accent pieces, this is an incredible creator for you to check out. And they also have this incredible summoning circle design that I just couldn't help but include in this video because like, look at it. It is so cool. So if you're looking for some witchy, some gothic vibes, you need to check out this creator because they have got you covered in that department, okay? Now, if you are like me and you are into these simple panel buildings right now, I have some great options for you. First up, we have these ooky spooky, kind of cartoony window designs. I've only featured two versions here, but there are some more variations in this creator's design portal but these are perfect for any nighttime, ooky spooky urban settings. This could make a great Gothic castle. If you're looking to go kooky, but not too spooky, then these designs are for you. But if you're not really looking for a haunted house and you want something a little bit more natural, these next patterns are for you. These custom designs definitely give me city vibes. I look at these and I feel like I'm watching Hey Arnold. This feels very like city block, brown stones. This creator also gave us some alternate versions that have a jack-o'-lantern in them, as well as just a simple wall pattern that has some cute little fairy lights on it. Not to mention these patterns look so good with the spooky furniture. It's like, ah. Uh, it looks great. Next up, we have an incredible designer, and I am going to be featuring a few of their designs because I looked at it and I just said, ah, how could I not? First up, we have these simple panel gothic buildings. This, if you are making a gothic cathedral, if you are making a castle, if you are looking for inspiration for Halloween designs, here it is. Look at these castle designs. They are incredible. They have like three or four options of these windows. And there is a version that has these spooky eyes looking out at you. Are you afraid of the dark? Because now I am. This creator is a wealth of spooky castle gothic realness, and they are gonna help us transition into the illusion category. I have three different options, all from this creator. These are just my favorites that I picked of them. First, we have these sandies that go against any cliff that you have and turn it into a cave. Now, I will say the grass at the top of this is only available in this pale yellow that's gonna work later in fall, and I was going on a hunt when I was filming these, so I couldn't time travel forward to show you them. But 
but just use your imagination. You've got the one of those, right? Next up, we have one of those incredible umbrella boxes that you've seen all over Instagram that looks like a box of bones. I'm usually not really a fan of these box patterns because to me, I'm like, yeah, yeah, I can see that it's just an umbrella. But with this one, I really think that they pulled off the illusion super well and it really works well for me. And last, we have three different gargoyle custom designs. These are all just shirts and dresses that you place down and they look exactly like gargoyles that you can put as little accents all over your Gothic cathedral that I know you're gonna wanna make now. The best part about all of these patterns is that these are all pro custom designs. And I don't know about you guys, but I barely use the pro custom designs. So I have so much space there and I can definitely fit these awesome designs. And if you saw these patterns and you just thought, okay, they look really great, but like I'm not seeing exactly what I want, check out this creator. They have so many cool and creepy carnival and gothic patterns for stalls, for accent pieces, for simple panels, basically anything that you could possibly want, this creator has made. Next up, moving away from all the gothic and the spook, we have this very cute, pumpkin cart. Now these are just the cutout sandies that are turned into a cart, especially for pumpkins. And I think it's so cute. These are perfect if you just place them down, put some stools behind it and put down a spooky lantern. Now this is actually by the same person who designed those brick windows that we were looking at a little bit earlier. So definitely check out this creator because they have a lot of really cool stuff. Next up, we have an incredible looking fence design. Now this standee is just one of a few different standee designs that this creator has made. It has a white picket fence. It has a black picket fence. They have fences for different seasons, but obviously we're gonna highlight the spookiest one. And last. I was really on the fence about including this custom design because I'm gonna be honest, it like legitimately scares me. <laughs> Apparently I'm a wimp when it comes to these things. I both love and hate this custom design because it is so good and so well executed and also extremely creepy and it made me physically uncomfortable to actually place this down on my island. But I remain committed to you guys and to the Animal Crossing design community. So here, is this design. Ugh. Okay, I hate spooky clowns. This is an incredibly comprehensive design. This design is made up of 12 pro custom designs, all using the cutouts and one single normal custom design slot that is just put onto a simple panel for the funhouse sign. These are also some great custom designs that would pair incredibly with our gothic friend that we were just talking about a few designers ago. Why is it 12 you say? Well, this person is really committed to making this illusion work. For the actual funhouse, for the actual clown, you were going to place five cutout standees on the first level and you were going to alternate them. Then for the top clown, you were gonna do the same thing, three behind, two in front of the cutout designs. And the great thing is that because it's done this way, those disgusting, awful, vile red eyes just follow you wherever you go. Anywhere that you walk, these eyes follow. And I hate it, but I also love it. You know what I'm saying? This has been some incredibly ooky and incredibly spooky custom designs. I hope that you guys got a favorite custom design out of this. If you have some spooky designs that I did not mention, let us know in the comments down below so that that way you can share with your friends. As always, thank you to my base for their support of the channel. You guys are incredible. You guys are icons. I love you. And also, stay cute, stay hydrated. Bye! Oogie spooky.